Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for all the latest news and updates. Hello, you have logged into One India News YouTube channel and this is Mariam. The centre has filed an affidavit in the Supreme Court stating that the Rohingyas are a national threat. The centre said that they could be used by terror groups like the Islamic State. The government said national interest warrants their deportation and the court should not interfere in the proceedings. The centre also said that there are intelligence alerts that some Rohingyas are linked with terror. These groups are active in Jammu, Delhi, Mewat and Hyderabad. The response from the centre came on a petition filed by two Rohingyas who sought a directive not to be deported. A bench led by Chief Justice of India Deepak Mishra had asked the centre to clarify its position. The case came to the court following a government move to deport Rohingyas. The court is scheduled to hear the issue on September 18 on Monday. The petitioners meanwhile said that all Rohingyas have nothing to do with terrorism. The petition, filed through Muhammad Yunus, a Rohingya, described the life of the average Rohingya in Jammu. The petition said there had not been a single allegation of terrorism against any Rohingya ever since the community began living in Jammu. The petition said not a single one of them has ever engaged in any terrorist activity. The local police have for over a year conducted interrogation of all the Rohingyas and have taken full details of each family member. The local police have inspected the settlements several times every month. All the Rohingyas cooperate with the police and give them all the required information. Saying that branding Rohingya as terrorist was both unfair and discriminatory, the petition asked the court to direct the government to treat the community with some dignity and not displace the community, which had undergone years of persecution in their own native land of Myanmar. Approximately 7,000 Rohingyas reside peacefully on private-owned lands rented out by Indian nationals, most of whom are Hindus. The Rohingyas are paying rent to these landlords on a timely basis. None of the landlords have ever voiced any complaints or objections about the conduct of the Rohingya tenants. That's all for now. For more news and updates, please subscribe to One India News YouTube channel.